Well, it <laughs> seems like things always change uh, since we talked to you last. A lot of activity. We know the big story is going to be Alibaba in a couple days yep. or weeks in terms of that IPO. You're going to own shares when it prices, correct? Yeah, we really built uh, this ETF uh, to have a fast track entry on major IPOs such as Alibaba will be. I mean, Alibaba will value the company at the time of the IPO somewhere between 125 to 175 billion dollars, uh, according to their to Yahoo. Uh, 1.5 billion of Yahoo's revenue was generated by their ownership of, of Alibaba. So this is going to be a very, very big IPO. Uh, some are saying the biggest IPO in the U.S. markets going back to 2008, uh, potentially larger than Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter combined. And you're expecting it to do well. Uh, we are. We're very, um, you know, the e-commerce sector in China is one of the fastest growing sectors, I, I would argue, globally. According to McKinsey & Company, it's grown at a CAGR, a uh, compound annual growth rate of 120% for the last decade. And what's driving this growth is, one, the continued urbanization taking place within China. In 1980, 20% of the population lived in cities. Today, it's actually over 50%, with a stated goal of 75%. As China's urbanized, domestic consumption and the middle class are growing. And in China today, you wouldn't build that big box kind of circuit city type of uh, retail store because you know the retail model exists. So actually, according, uh, we just read in 2013, 7% of all retail sales in China actually took place in line. Here in the U.S., you're talking about maybe 2% taking right. place online.